Mauricio Interiano here again, and I'm not alone. I am joined, I have the distinct pleasure to have an interview with our CEO, um, Susan Zambonin. And thank you very much, Sue, for making time to, to talk to me and, and, and talk um, here at the radio show, at Trent Radio, at Habitat for Humanity, Peterborough and Kawartha Region show at 92.7 FM in um, here in Peterborough. Um, so how long have you been involved with Habitat for Humanity? I've been involved with Habitat for 19 years. Uh, I first got involved when I lived in Prince Edward Island. And then when I moved back to Ontario, um, I became the CEO in Kingston and then moved to Peterborough. Wow. So you have a lot of experience, not only in this, in this habitat, in this local affiliate, but but in but around in, here in Canada, and I think you're the right person to ask this question. But there's a lot of like myths and misconceptions of what Habitat for Humanity is. Um, so for those who are listening, and some people have a vague idea of what it is, and some people know a lot about it. But can you explain what Habitat does and how how it works? I think the biggest myth is that Habitat gives houses away for free. Um, And that's not what we do. Um, What we do is we serve um, a small portion of the community. Um, We don't do social housing and we don't do market housing. So we're that small band um, that you would consider affordable housing and affordable home ownership um, is actually where (laughs) the space that we live in. So um, I think that's the biggest uh, misconception. Um, What I like the most about Habitat is the fact that it's a pay-it-forward program. Our homeowners, when they make their mortgage payments, that money is used to reinvest into building more homes. And um, that is something that people don't understand and is a misconception. Oh, exactly. And I think... um yeah, the uh, I remember my manager one time said like Habitat for Humanity, it's a really well known brand, but it's not known well, you know. So, mm-hmm. um, so it's really important to to just clarify or know um, how how it really works. And I know that um, another thing that some people are not really familiar with is a resource. You know, sometimes they think that it's uh, completely different from Habitat. Um, you know, and I'm using more of the language of Habitat Restore to make that connection. But can you tell us more about Habitat Restore, what they are, where are they here in, 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 in Peterborough and Lindsay, and, and how they, they are supporting Habitats for Humanity's mission here in Peterborough and the Kawartha region? Yeah, I think uh, one of the misconceptions with the ReStore, if people know that the ReStore is a habitat um, uh, social enterprise, what they think is that it can only be used by habitat homeowners to come in and get discounted um, items. And it's not. It's actually open to the public. Um, We accept donations of new and gently used items whether they are household items like furniture, um, appliances, or building materials and things like that. What we do is we take those items and we sell them at um, a discounted rate, but we try to get as much money for them as we can because that's what we use to pay for our overhead. So that when someone makes a donation to Habitat, then a financial donation, then all that money can go towards the cost of building homes and housing families. And so we have three restores, uh, one at Peterborough North at 300 Milroy Drive, one at Peterborough South, which is 550 uh, Braidwood, and then one in Lindsay, which is 55 Angeline Street. Perfect. Thank you very much. And, and yeah, we were lucky to have uh, different ones, you know, and we served um, the Peterborough and the Kawartha region. It's important for us not only to have him in Peterborough, but um, I was recently in the Lindsay doing my cross training and, and it's huge, you know, um, the, um, it's good to have uh, Habitat also, the Habitat resource also around our region. And so Habitat is turning 20 years um, this year and um, it's, uh, we recently had a celebration and it was amazing to to just see what Habitat has done um, in this past and also celebrate what, what's coming um, forward. 
What are some personal highlights um, of these 20 years or just in general with Habitat and in what way the affiliate has grown during these years? I think the reason I got involved with Habitat was because it was a small grassroots organization, right? We built one house at a time with volunteers and I just love that. But what I love about what's changed is that in order for us to serve more families that really need affordable housing, we've had to get bigger. And each of the affiliates that I've been involved with um, are scaling up and doing bigger projects. And so that's why our 41 unit condo that we built on Leahy's Lane was so, you know, just such a big deal for us, right? We're able to help 41 families and double our impact over a, a year and a half period compared to, you know, five houses in a year. Um, and so that is what um, really is a personal highlight for me, um, just being able to serve more families and do do what we want to do. Exactly. It's in our mission. It's our goal, you know, it's to serve more families here in, in Peterborough and Dick Arthur region. And, and, and again, in what ways or, or do, do you want or in what ways the affiliate is growing uh, in the future? Uh, so I think the idea of doing more big projects, um, not just, you know, a duplex at a time, um, you know, six units or 10 or 20, 40, you know, um, that's how we want to change and how we want to grow to be able to help more families. Exactly, exactly. And it's good that we already have that experience, you know, of, of 41 units on Lee's Lane, and then we can move forward and with more confidence and with the support of of, of our donors and, and other supporters because they know that we're able uh, to achieve these plans. Now, um, on our previous week, I had the chance to interview our housing program manager and she was explaining a little bit about our new mortgage model that I think was really unique and really um, exciting because it will allow us to serve uh, more families here in Peterborough. Now, can you expand a little bit more on that um, new mortgage model and how it can help us serve more families here? So our classic mortgage model was no down payment um, and Habitat held the mortgage for the full value, which meant that we were getting back a payment once a month for 20, 25, 30 years. Um, so we were only able to build as much as that income would allow. With our new mortgage model, which is a partnership uh, with a financial institution who will provide a first mortgage for whatever the homeowner qualifies for, and then Habitat will hold a second mortgage for the balance um, that they're not making any payments on um, until they're able to pay off the first mortgage. That allows us to get a lump sum payment in, which means that we're not waiting 20 or 25 years for that um, first mortgage, which means we're able to take that money now and build more homes now. And that's what we need, right? We need to be able to be serving more families now as opposed to in the future. Exactly correct, and, and and it's great that we are innovating in other ways. You know, some people are are pioneers on like building um, different type of constructions, or you know. But it's also important to to also see how um, how the mortgage model is and in what ways we can improve it. And it's exciting to know that a lot of new things are coming our way. But um, if someone wants to get involved with Habitat, and this is um, like a call to everyone who's listening, if they want to get involved, if they want to donate, or they want to uh, volunteer, or if they just want to make an impact in their community, what would you so recommend they do? <laughs> There's a lot of things that you could do to volunteer or to help us. Um, I'd say first, volunteer. Come out and volunteer at the ReStore. Uh, when we have a build going on, come out and volunteer at the build. Um, and you can also come and volunteer, sign up to be part of our salvage team, um, and you could help that way. You can donate because we always need money to cover the cost of construction. But also you could advocate for us in the community um, for what we do. Make sure that um, when you talk about Habitat, people understand that we don't give houses away. So there's a cost. We have to raise the money to build them. Um, and it's also an opportunity to explain so that 
potential homeowners understand they're not being given anything for free. They're actually working hard for it. And it's not, um, it's not a charity. It's a hand up. And that's what homeowners like about it because they don't want to be seen as receiving charity. Um, they want to be a partner in this whole process. Um, so I think those are all ways that um, the listeners could help us. Um, and with the coming elections, advocate for affordable housing. Um, talk to um, everyone that's running for the municipal government and mayors and reeves or whichever it is uh, in your riding um, to tell them that affordable housing and affordable home ownership is important and that Habitat is a great way to support that. Thank you so very much, Sue. That was um, a clear message, you know. And, and yeah, I mean, we've seen in, in, the, in the news right now our vacancy rate in Peterborough is 1%. Uh, prices of housing of houses are skyrocketing, and, and it is um, an important issue. And, uh, and yeah, and we the work that we do is thanks to everyone who volunteered, to get involved, who donate. So, so yeah, Sue just said it, guys. If you um, want to get involved with Habitat, you know, feel free to visit our website. That's habitatspkr.ca. We're also on Instagram. We're also on Facebook. Uh, we also are on LinkedIn. Or come to our office and visit our resources and, and get involved. And, and you know, every every action that you take really matters. And so now, um, more specifically, what's coming next? What builds are coming next to Habitat for Humanity, Peterborough and Cabarthur region? Well, um, we had uh, some land donated for a build in Fraserville. So that's exciting. It'll be the f first one out in the county for a number of years. And it's actually going to be constructed with a new type of construction technology called 3D. Um, there's a new company in Peterborough called Cormore Inc. that we're partnering with. Um, this new type of construction will help us to build faster um, less expensive and sustainable um, construction. So we're really excited about that. We also um, have some land that's being donated by the city of Kawartha Lakes in Omimi. So there will be the potential for three to four homes there. Still working through some things with that. Um, that probably will start construction next year. Uh, we have 12 more condo units for Phase 2 of Leahy's Lane uh, coming up. And we're also looking at some land in Halliburton Highlands because we want to be able to serve our whole area. Um, and so we have not built in the Halliburton Highlands yet, but there may be something that... Um, we might be able to do out there. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Thank you. So it's really exciting. It's a lot. You know, we just finished the, uh, the 41 unit condo and there's a lot more coming. And it's fascinating uh, to hear that it's we're innovating in, you know, our mortgage model, again, repeating myself, and also like the way of construction, you know, habitat restores. We It's, it's an environmentally friendly um, decision because we are taking, um, you know, we're giving items a second life, and even if we move these values to our construction with the treaty um, um, system, it's 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 we're we're on the same line. Uh, so thank you very much for that. It's really exciting. And again, everyone, if you want to get involved with Habitat for Humanity, Peter Brinkawartha region, give us a call. Visit our website. We're on social media. Learn more about Habitat. Learn more about our Habitat restores, and get involved and make an impact in your community. Thank you very much for, for all of your information, Sue. I'm going to move into, I've um, been asking this question to everyone to just get a little bit more of a personal um, perspective of, of our staff here, but how does a typical day look for Habitat <laughs> uh, CEO here in Peterborough and Kawartha region? Well, I'd say there is no typical day. Um, I'd like to think that there is, um, but you come to work with a plan of what you want to get done and then all kinds of things happen throughout the day. So um, I try to spend a fair amount of my time looking at things, um, looking forward, uh, thinking um, of things for the future. So looking for land, looking for uh, partnerships, um, talking to municipalities about how they can help us. So 
that's my goal. Uh, it doesn't happen every day or it doesn't happen uh, as much as I would like uh, because there's also the management of the overall organization on a day-to-day -day, um, basis. So, you know, lots of financial things to look at and HR things mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, but it's exciting um, because really in the end what we're doing is we're helping families to find um, – you know, affordable home ownership, and the most of the homeowners that are selected will say to us, "I never thought that I could become a homeowner." So that's, you know, that's the nice part of a typical day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, I I know. I mean, it's it, um, it's a responsibility. It's also um, you know, knowing that you have the 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 power of, of of making change you know and it's it's really important to like you said look at the future look in what ways we can change and, and we are doing it and i think you, you touch a little bit on this <laughs> but what's your favorite thing about working at habitat you know and like you said you you have not only work here at peter and Tikawartha region it's also in another affiliate in in canada so so it seems like you like habitat <laughs> so what is your favorite thing about working for habitat uh, really, well, I think the dedication, right? Um, because that's the day that the homeowner, you know, everything's finalized and the homeowners either get the keys or it's, a, you know, the ceremony. And it's exciting because the homeowners are excited that, you know, th the time has arrived. They've worked hard. They've done their 500 hours of sweat equity. Um, the house ha home has been constructed and now now it's going to become theirs and I think that is um, my favorite part I cry at every dedication um, because it's it's what it's all about exactly so thank you very much and I recently joined the Habitat for Humanity Peterborough and Kawartha Regions uh, team and on the, the second month, <laughs> I got to see a dedication, so I, I share I, and, I, and I know that, that feeling. Now, these are all of my questions, so is there anything else you want to tell our listeners right now? Um, again, you're listening at 92.7 FM Trent Radio. Uh, and yes, we just a last message to everyone who's listening. Uh, I think the last message would be to um, talk to your um, all the people that are running for council uh, in your area and tell them how important affordable housing is and how important habitat is to affordable housing in our area. Thank you so very much, Sue.